Hi, this is Hassan Egol Makani. I would like to share my experience, focus on corrosion, surface preparation, painting, and coating. Join me. Unlocking the secrets of surface cleanliness. If you have worked in industries for even a short time and have seen industrial painting, you must have heard the SA 2.5, but it is very likely that you have not heard SA 0 or for example ST 0. In order to know these phrases, you must watch this clip to the end. In this video, I would like to talk about surface cleanliness with a focus on visible contamination. We talked earlier in the surface preparation clip that in order to evaluate the prepared surface, we should generally evaluate three things, visible contamination, invisible contamination, and surface profile. If you have not seen this clip before, you can watch it through above link. Today, surface preparation is a critical step in many industries including construction, automotive, aerospace, and marine. It is necessary to ensure the longevity and performance of the coatings and treatments applied to the surfaces. Surface preparation standards exist to maximize coating life and minimize cost. In order for there to be a common language between different parts of the project such as the client, contractor, consultant, and third party, Several standards were used to define different levels of surface cleanliness, the most important of which are introduced in this section. International Organization for Standardization is an independent non-governmental international organization with a membership of 170 national standards bodies. British Standard denotes Britain national standards which are controlled by the British standards. ASNZS means the Joint Australian New Zealand Standards that has been approved and published by the Council of Standards Australia from a time to NACE International National Association of Corrosion Engineers International is a global organization that develops standards and best practice for corrosion control and prevention in various industries. The Society for Protective Coatings is a professional association for the industrial protective and marine coatings industry. It was founded in 1950 as the Steel Structures Painting Council. AMPP, Association for Materials Protection and Performance, is a professional association focused on the protection of assets and performance of materials. AMPP was created when NACE International and SSPC merged in 2021. First, must answer this question what is meant by visible contamination. Any contamination on the substrate causes the addition between the paint and the substrate to decrease drastically because it does not allow the connection between the sides like a barrier. All types of visible contamination can be included in this section, but the following are mentioned in the standards. Oil and grease. Oil and grease is one of the contaminations that must be completely removed from the surface before or after cleaning the surface. Mill scale. When the molten steel is forming in the steel factory, a mill scale is formed around the cooling steel, which has a deep blue color and is less electronegative than steel. Therefore, this layer acts as a cathode and the steel acts as an anode. And if moisture or water is placed at their junction, corrosion will form and the steel will be destroyed and the mill scale will be preserved. For more information, refer to corrosion playlist through above link. Any kind of rust as a disturbing layer between the paint and the substrate can lead to a decrease in paint addition and then premature paint failure. If you need more information about this, watch the clip of paint addition through this link. The previous paint and coating has another visible contamination on the surface can reduce the addition of the paint. Debris. Dust and abrasive residues are also among the visible contamination. The history of surface preparation dates back to ancient times when people used various methods to prepare surface for painting, coating, or other treatments. One of the earliest methods was sanding or scrapping the surface to remove dirt, rust, or old paint. Over time, new techniques and tools were developed to improve the efficiency and quality of surface preparation. One significant development in surface preparation history was the invention of sandblasting. The creation of this invention took place in the late 1800s and the brain behind it was an American soldier named Benjamin Chu Tilkman. Reportedly, his inspiration stemmed from observing the impact of storm sand to desert windows during his tenure in the armed force. 
forces. This method involved using compressed air to propel abrasive materials such as sand, glass bead, or steel shot onto the surface to remove contaminants and create a clean, roughened surface for better addition of coatings. In 1952, the Steel Structures Painting Council in the USA published a series of specifications such as SP1, Solvent Cleaning, SP2, Hand Tool Cleaning, SP3, Power Tool Cleaning, SP4, Film Cleaning of New Steel, SP5, White Metal Blast Cleaning, SP6, Commercial Blast Cleaning, SP7, Brush of Blast Cleaning, and SP8, Pickling. SSPC V1 was originally based on the series of photographs and text in six languages, first published in 1962 as Swedish standard SIS 05590, rust grades for steel surfaces and preparation grades superior to protective coating. This standard has been adapted as the basic of several other international standards used for visual assessment of clean surfaces. ISO 8501 was published in 1988 as a combination of manual contents from other standards like the Swedish standard SIS 05590 and the German DIN 55928. ISO 8501 is meant to be a pictorial guide to different rust grades at various levels of cleanness and contains supplementary descriptions via text as well. The 1962 edition of SIS 055900 describes surface prepared by manual tool cleaning as ST0, no preparation of surface, ST1, light wire brushing every part, brush twice. ST two through scrapping followed by wire brushing to give a faint metallic sheen st3 extremely through scrapping in two directions and wire brushing to give a pronounced metallic sheen also surface cleaned by abris blasting were described as sa0 no preparation of surface sa1 light blast cleaning so that loose material is removed sa2 through blast cleaning to remove all mill scale and rust and practically all foreign matter sa3 blast cleaning to white metal to remove all mill scale, rust, and foreign matter. In 1967, the Swedish standard was revised and reissued with a new grade SA 2.5 corresponding to the new intermediate grade SSPC SP10. ST3 became very true scrapping, SA0, ST1, and ST0 were deleted as these conditions are considered unsuitable for painting, and other descriptors had minor changes. In the series of ISO standards, if cleaning is done with a hand or power tool, the clean surface is given a grade of ST, which changes with the duration of using the tool. The higher the number, the longer the time tools are used, and as a result, the surface is cleaner. ST3 is better than ST2. If the cleaning method is abrasive blasting, the clean surface is given grade SA. The bigger the number, the longer the abrasive blasting is done, the result is a cleaner surface. SA3 is the best and SA1 is the worst. And if the method is with high pressure water jetting, the clean surface is given a grade of WA. The higher the number, the longer the time of high pressure water spraying, the surface is cleaner. In the series of SSPC standards, all clean surface, regardless of the method, are named with SP grade, but the type of cleaning is stated with different SP numbers. In this standard, increasing the number has no relationship with the amount of surface cleanliness. In this standard, if cleaning is done, Done with manual tools, the surface cleanliness is SP2, and if cleaning is done with power tools, the surface cleanliness is shown with SP3, SP15, and SP11. The worst SP3 is the best SP11, and the middle is SP15. If cleaning is done by abrasive blasting, the clean surface is SP7, SP14, SP6, SP10, and SP5, from worst to best. If a wet abrasive blasting is used for cleaning in this standard, the process of marking is the same, only WAB is added to the end of it. For example, SP5 WAB, its meaning wet abrasive blasting. Cleaning by water jetting, the clean surface is indicated by WJ, acidic number meaning quality increases. SP16, SP17, and SP18 are used while the cleaning is done by abrasive blasting and the substrate surface is non ferrous. Visual standards of cleanliness. For inspection, the end 
essential conditions of the surface before preparation must be examined and evaluated. For this purpose, the ISO and SSPC standard divided the initial conditions of the sur surfaces into two general categories, which include new steel that has not been previously painted and previously painted steel. And each of these two categories is divided in four subgroups that we define. ISO 8501-1 and SSPC standard describe four different initial surface conditions of new steel. Rust grade A, covered completely with adherent mill scale and with little if any rust. Rust grade B, begun to rust and from which the mill scale has begun to flake. Typical of new steel after two or three months at Gothenburg port. Rust grade C, mill scale has rusted away or from which it can be scrapped but with little pitting visible to the naked eye. One year exposure. Rust grade D, mill scale has rusted away and on which considerable pitting is visible to the naked eye. Three years marine exposure. Pre-painted steel are also defined by SSPC as grade E. Paint applied over a blast clean surface, paint mostly intact. Grade F. Zinc rich paint applied over blast clean steel, paint mostly intact. Grade G. Painting system applied over mill scale bearing steel. System truly weathered, truly blistered, or truly stained. Grade H. The graded painting system applied over steel. System truly weathered, truly blistered, or truly stained. After the initial conditions of the surface have been determined, we must see which standard has been agreed upon in the project specification and based on that standard, the names of the clean surface will be different.